Hey guys, so it's another hair video and hopefully you guys are coming over for my Chebe um, Shea Butter video, you know, where I show how I make the stuff that I'm going to be putting on my hair today in this video. And if not, I don't know what you're doing because you're missing out, babe. So I'm going to show you how to get this look. Okay, these locks are freaking crazy cute, fun, adorable, and I'm going to show you guys how to get them. Alright, so ignore my foot. We're going to start off with that. Okay, so right now I'm just separating out some hair. All right, this hair was bought from AliExpress because y'all know that's the only way I do it. Especially since I don't keep my hair in for long. So I'm gonna insert the exact vendor name because luckily this time I know exactly where this hair is brought from because it was recent. So I'm gonna insert that. And um, this hair was 26 inches, I believe. So right now I'm just adding in some glue on top of the lock itself. And then I'm going to pull the, um, the hair really tight so that the glue gets to, you know, fuse all up in there with the, the extensions. So I'm just pulling it tight and I'm going to let it dry. You can blow on it or whatever to make it dry. And then um, I'm showing you guys again with another strand of hair so i just cut this the the curly hair that you see that i'm tying on i just cut it off the weft nothing special i cut as close to the weft as i possibly could and that's it so i'm just putting the glue on and this is how i prep all of the locks before i go on to the very next step okay so this is very important especially if you're using human hair because um this is a different texture than all of the other hair in this video so there's a good chance I'm going to reuse these locks and I don't want it to slip out so that's why the glue is very important if I do end up washing them to reuse them. So right now I'm just wrapping over the knots where that I just created to tie the hair onto the um, lock and I'm just pulling really tight and I'm just wrapping upward okay. So this is some curly um, spring twist hair that I bought from AliExpress and I just cut the, the hair in half so I cut that hair in half so that um, I can just use it for the ends because I didn't need an entire a whole piece to wrap up the hair Okay, guys, so as you guys see like my knees are holding the um the hair in space in, pl <laughs> in place and that is important too because this this hair is gonna slip I don't really know a better way to do this honestly because I Just don't like the lock is gonna try to like bounce up and it makes it very hard for you to wrap the hair so yeah if you can just hold it with your knees or i don't know that's the most logical way to me i i don't know if you come up with a better way do it but as long as you're able to wrap the hair without it unraveling on you then you're good so i'm wrapping all the way up to pass the hair as much as i can this is nothing to trip over um yeah, so I'm going to end up cutting that little piece that's hanging out because, I mean, I'm not going to retwist just because I didn't cover like a centimeter of hair. So now I'm wrapping the other end downward. So I'm wrapping it all the way down to the end of the lock and then I'm going to wrap up once I reach the end. But you want to make sure that you're doing this part really tight because if you're not wrapping tight, then the lock is going to look bulky where you're adding this hair in and it's going to look really weird because you're not going to wrap the entire lock in this hair. You get what I'm saying? So you have to wrap it tight so that the lock remains as thin as it is. Unless you're going for a thicker look and you are going to wrap the entire lock. So right now I'm just wrapping down and I'm just going to keep going. So you just continue wrapping. There's no glue involved in this step at all like you just wrap until the tip of the hair is no longer there so you wrap until there's no hair left all right so i'm gonna let you guys continue to watch how i do that
so I am wrapping and wrapping and then you guys are gonna see I'm gonna rub it together and that just makes everything stick and stay in place and then the top I'm trying to really figure out how I'm gonna finesse and get these little pieces to look good so instead I decided to go back and wrap the top part a little tighter and that just to make sure it's really secure because I know I'm gonna cut that piece that's hanging out Okay, so as you guys see, that's how it came out. I'm gonna rub the top part together too. So you do that at the top and at the bottom. Right now, I think I'm rubbing the bottom. Yeah, just to make sure that it stays. So I do that for all of the locks. I have about 40, I ended up having 49 locks in my head. So I did that for 50 locks. And um, yeah, so right now I'm dampening my hair because I'm gonna show you guys how I ended up using the Chebby powder on my hair. So I put some Chebby powder into some shea butter and I just made that mixture that's in my other video that I was talking about in the beginning. If you guys wanna see, you can click over. And I'm just putting that on all of my braids and as you guys see i'm not putting it on my scalp and that's very important i skipped that step but i'm focusing on the ends of my braids so this is just going to ensure that my hair is super moisturized throughout the the whole time that my hair is within these locks and it's also going to you know strengthen my hair as well i already oiled my scalp with avocado oil peppermint oil and lavender oil a mixture um, you can definitely do those same mix those oils together just make sure that the lavender oil and the peppermint oil is an essential oil and I would also suggest using rosemary oil because it works wonders for your hair and it definitely helps moisturize it and does you know you know make helps it grow a little more. I don't like saying it makes your hair grow because that's like impossible, but it helps with growth. It's time to install the locks. So I'm going to, you know, crochet the lock onto the braid. And for this, you honestly want to make sure you didn't braid your hair too tight. And that's very important because you have to put the hair underneath and it can cause tension. So. The good thing about this style is that you don't have to be like a phenomenal braider. As long as you can braid, you're good. So you don't have to make the braid, you know, snatching your roots and nothing, okay? Because that's, that's not necessary, boo. So right now I'm going to latch the spring twist underneath, okay? I'm latching it underneath the, um, the braid and then I'm going to pull it to, to the end so I'm gonna bring it to the very end like as much as can be there without the hair slipping out and then I'm going to start wrapping so um, yeah you don't there's no particular direction you have to wrap the hair in but I've been doing this for a while so I'm wrapping the hair in the opposite direction that the lock is in if you get what I'm saying you get what, my, what I'm saying if you don't it's okay it just helps with the takedown process because you'll be able to see. So right now, this is how you do the butterfly lock thing. All right, so you guys saw how I like pulled the hair up. That helps make that little loop butterfly look thing and it helps it look a little less perfect, less uniform. So I do that probably about five, six times. And um, yeah, so that gives it a little personality. So I'm gonna continue to do that and I'm just gonna wrap all the way down and I'm gonna wrap until there's no more hair left. There is no glue involved in this step either. And that just, that's just how you do it. This is a super quick tutorial. I went into more depth on the curly pieces because I have done this tutorial already and that's also why this video is really short. So if you wanna see the full tutorial of the 
install process and my braiding pattern then you would have to click over to my previous full locks tutorial yes yeah, alright guys I just don't have it in me to keep remaking the same video all because people aren't familiar with my channel so if you haven't seen it you can just click over to see that if you need more details on the installation process of the locks but I'm gonna show you guys one more time so you hook the the lock under through the loop that's already there because they're full locks and you pull your hair through that loop and then you're gonna go back and you're going to hook the spring twist too I mean you can just start wrapping if you want but I I I got trust issues okay so this just helps that say your lock is unraveling you don't have to worry about it completely coming out because it's it's locked underneath your hair so if you just start wrapping and you skip this step then there's a possibility that your lock can unwrap all the way and unravel and your braid's gonna be out in the world looking crazy and you know that's just what it is so I just do that to help me feel a little more secure so you guys see like I'm pulling it pretty tight and I'm wrapping twice around the the root of the lock and then I start to wrap around the braid and the lock and that just also helps hide the actual braid in the lock you know it helps it it helps the transition go really smooth so I just did a little butterfly thing so I wrapped around and I pulled some of the hair up and I'm just gonna continue to do that all the way down the hair and you know once again I'm gonna do it until there's no more hair left my hair does poke out well my hair is kind of long so if you have to fold up your braid as you guys see right here I folded up my braid so that I didn't have to like worry about it poking out the end so I folded it up so that I wouldn't have to add more wrapping hair because the front of my hair is longer than the back because it's in a blunt cut so you know I hate the way my face be looking sometimes we're done okay this is how it came out this it's very full it's not too heavy it's not too full um yeah it's not like overkill it's like the perfect amount of locks in my head so i'm gonna show you guys how the ends look too and i'm gonna also show you guys how how long the hair is it's 40 inches i measured it I swear to god i won't lie to you guys it was an accident i did not want the hair to be this long but i ordered 24 inches locks from amazon and then me wrapping it with a spring twist extended the lock so i mean it's not a big deal but it wasn't expected so now i'm gonna lay down these baby hairs because i'm looking crazy out here and that's not cute i'm not walking out i'm not i'm not i'm just not okay so i'm just gonna show you guys how i lay my baby hairs i'm using got to be glued spray i'm gonna let you guys in on a sneak tip okay if you use free spray to lay your edges baby baby girl it's gonna look so good it's gonna look so good it's gonna stay there forever you can work out because if y'all know anything about got to be free spray it your hair's not gonna move it's not going nowhere so i mean yeah you can do that but if you use too much it's gonna leave a white cast and then you're gonna have to wash it off and you know that's the only thing but i did just use the um the glue because it's more realistic like some people might think that's crazy so i just showed you guys how to lay the edges with the glue instead for this video all right so you know i'm laying my edges and i'm gonna just show you guys you know how it how it's looking how you gonna get a little up close because the average person ain't gonna get this close to me okay boo so i'm just showing you guys really how cute they came out they came out really really nice i like this style so much um the parting i did not do perfect so don't y'all even try it in the comments i didn't want it to be perfect because i wanted it to be a little messy if i wanted it perfect best believe i could have did it all right so i'm just you know really showing you guys the ends are so cute um this is how it looks when i'm standing up all right it's just adorable i went outside to give y'all a little scenery you know a little a little background and they're really long they look really really good i did not mention how long it took 
I think it took me about nine hours because I had to customize the ends of the hair. I did that the day before and then I actually installed the following day. So guys, get into it. If you want to create this look, do it. Just be patient. It's going to take time, but you'll get the result.